Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world of Wayne. I love this time of month. We've got the next pack, pack six of the Shelby Super Snake from Agora Models. I absolutely love this build and uh, I've uh, kept the car on the shelf at the moment because the only things we're going to need are the part that we worked on in the last pack which was the dashboard looking just like that we're going to be building onto that um, and as you can see we're going to be doing stages 39 uh, to 46 in this stage um, if you want to get this for yourself then just go over to the agora models website there and you can subscribe to this from pack one they also have different offers on there where you can have an accelerated start where you can buy more than one pack at one time uh, also on the agora models website we've got the t800 build which is over 12 packs and coming in september i'm wearing the pre-made t-shirt already the cobra look at that that's going to look brilliant next to this isn't it uh, but by all means if uh, this is a worldwide so it doesn't matter what country you're in if you are unsure get in touch with agora models down the bottom and they can help you out but they're all available to order now now i can't wait to get started on this because we're going to be building up from the internals now and the car's going to start rising up which is going to look really good so uh first thing i'm going to do is let's get cracking <laughs> So I'm going to show you again just the uh, what we did last time impactful here with the gear stick and all the dials and stuff and the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to start putting in some rubber mats and these are rubber look really flexible they've got some lugs on this side and this is the way they go so basically when we put them on we want the thin edge here to be going under the dashboard and the thicker edge that detail there going towards the chairs so what we're going to do is we're going to put this in we've got some lug holes just at the back of underneath the dashboard here to fit these in and what's probably best is to line them up then turn it over and then you can see the lugs going through the holes on this side so i'm just going to push them in and this will keep this in place so one two three four just like that as you can see that mat is now in so we do the same to the other side here once again make sure it's round the right way this way here and i'll put it in turn it upside down and again make sure the lugs go all the way through one two three and four and as you can see that's those two mats in place there now we're going to be doing the same with the rear mats which are going on these sections just at the back here uh, the rear mats look just like that and they go in exactly the same way as well uh, with the thicker section there uh, facing towards the back of the vehicle so these are going to be going on this way just like that so we push these into place get the seat belt out of the way over the lugs and make sure that lug goes all the way through that's one side do the other side over here make sure it's around the right way and push them in just like that and as you can see we now have all the mats in the vehicle just like that now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be taking the seats that we had from the previous issues and one's labeled r at the bottom and one's labeled l at the bottom we just need to line these up with the two holes that we got here and here so the right hand side one's going to be going in here just going to pull the uh the uh seat belt just out the way of that it's going to be secured on the other side with some mp01 screws that we had left over from the last issues so i've got that here i'll get that loaded up and we'll screw that into place that's the first one and that's the second one so we've got the first chair in looking just like that as you see you can still put the chair backwards and forwards like that uh, we're going to put the other one in this side and obviously this is the driver's chair here and on the bottom of it it's got an l for left so we put that into place just like make sure the uh, seat belt again is out the way just like that and once again i'll load up an mp01 screw turn it upside down and we put that in through the bottom just there that's the first one nice and tight and we just put the second one in into there and again make that nice and tight so there we go that's what that looks like when they're in and as you can see they are available to go backwards and forwards there and they're sitting absolutely square into that interior area so we're keeping this area now clear because we're about to install the fire extinguisher 
so this is what the fire extinguisher looks like now what we've got we've got two red details uh, the obvious top of there and we've actually got some stickers that we're going to be applying to this so the first thing we need to do is to take this section just like this and we're going to be putting the top of the fire extinguisher in just like this so it sits nice and firm in there it actually clips itself in so it's not going to fall out and then we actually piece this together by making this section here line up with the lugs on this section and push that together it should clip into place one two just like that there we go and that's what the fire extinguisher looks like and now we just need to put the stickers around it now this is what the sticker looks like here what we want to make sure is the central part of this sticker here needs to be the exact opposite side to the lugs there so what we'll do is line that up with the top of the fire extinguisher just like that making sure it's straight looks perfectly straight actually and then we just revolve this round just duck this under the handle of the top of the fire extinguisher there so it looks like that from the bottom that's the side we're not going to see but that is the fire extinguisher completed and then if we bring over the interior of the car again looking just like that it's very hard to see but there's two holes in the uh, middle section here we want to put it this way around so that the top of the fire extinguisher is nearest to the gear stick here so i'll put this in the first hole just like that and now that's the fire extinguisher held into place nice and tight that's not going anywhere so i'm going to put that to one side as we do stage 40. Now stage 40 is the rear seat support that looks just like that. Now if I bring over this section here, it's basically going to be fitting just underneath, kind of like this, but that's going to be secured in from the other side. So what I'm going to do is just turn this whole thing upside down here, just like that. And then as you can see, this is going to fit over these lugs just here, like this. And they give us the screws to put these in for. I'm just going to put that down for a minute. And these are just some more MPO1. So I'll get these open and we'll get these into place. Four of these it's going to take. So once I've lined that up, I'll put the interior ones in first. And as you can see, we've got a locating lug just in the center there for this square hole. So we need to make sure that lines up perfectly. And then we can start screwing in each part here. Now it helps if you have the seats all the way back. That'll add a bit more stability to it. And we'll put the first screw in. I'm only putting the middle ones in lightly at the moment. I'll tighten them up in a minute. I just want to make sure everything's lined up. Here's the second MPO one screw here. And then we'll do the outer ones. This side here. And the other side. Just like this and then we'll tighten these up fully. That's the third one and last but not least here's the fourth one. Nice and tight make sure again that bits in the middle there clips into place just like that so now that's flush on there and that is the end of that stage. <laughs> So I'll put that to one side just while I open stage 41 up. Now stage 41 up is the uh, rear platform and that looks just like that. Again, we've got some MP01 screws in this. So I'll get the screws open as well, just like this. So the MP01 is the go-to screw in that. If you've been saving your screws, you've probably got hundreds of them at the moment. Uh, we're gonna bring this back over now, but we're gonna turn it upside down again because we're working on this other side here. And quite simply, the three holes on this section here are going to fit over the three lugs on this section here. Now it's going to be going this way around. So this is going to be just sitting over the top, just like that. It's going to be held in with three MPO1 screws. So I'll start this again lightly with the middle screw here. I don't tighten them all the way, just enough to keep this in place. Second one on this side. Making sure the screw's going perfectly straight into the holes there here's the third one just onto this side and then i'm going to turn it on its side and just tighten this up completely that's 
that's one. Number two. And there's number three. And there we go. That's the rear shelf in. And then that's stage 41 complete. So in stage 42, we're going to be doing one of the left rear interior panels looking just like this. We'll get this out. There is a detail to put on this as well. Actually, there's quite a few details to put on this. Now, the first detail is silver. It's in the bag here. So we'll get this open. I'll show you what this looks like. It looks just like that. And that's actually just going to go into the same shape detail that we got there. As you can see at the bottom here, it's like half moon. So we're just going to push that into place once it's lined up, just like that. That fits in like that. And this gets held into place on the other side with an MP01 screw. We've got plenty of them at the moment, so uh, I won't open that bag. I'll use the one that we've already got in place. And that's just going to go into that screw hole here. And we'll screw that in. Again, nice and tight. Once again, that detail's not going anywhere. Then we've got the seat release lever, which is in this bag here. So I'm going to take this out, show you what this looks like see it's got a little tiny silver detail on there but the detail is very impressive this is going to go into the same shape that we've got left on that panel there just like that so we're going to put that into place just like that turn it upside down and once again it's going to be held into place with an mpo one screw so i've got that ready here that can be screwed in just like this again nice and tight so there's no way for this to come out looking like that and then if we bring over the vehicle again and once again just lying this down like that this is going to be going onto the left side of the vehicle which when we line down is this side here this is just basically going to be going on these steps like that so i'm just pushing that into place of how it slips on making sure that it's on nice and tight we've got a little lug here just to line up that hole there so we can make sure that this all slots together perfectly just like that and then these again just push into place just like that now these are going to be held in again with three mp01 screws so let's get them open it's absolutely amazing watching this grow before our eyes i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the middle one in first so i'll get that in here probably best on the top camera this is again i'm not tight them all the way just enough to keep it into place here's the second one on this side just like that and one more just here put that in like that and then just like I did last time I keep it on its side and I'll tighten this up like that it just gives make sure there's no stresses or anything just onto these bit parts here that's why I've got it on its side here tighten them in and there we go that's the side panel looking just like that into the vehicle. Once again, I'm going to put that to one side because we're going to have stage 43 here, which is the upper part of the side panel that we just put in. And that's looking just like this. Panel details like that. We've got a chrome bit of trim there, and then we've got MP01 screws and MP05 screws. So we'll get the chrome trim off first, just looking like that. And quite simply, that's gonna go into the same shape that we can just see there. So it revolves around the bend there. I'm gonna push that in. It fits quite snug on itself, but this does get held into place with screws on this side. And once again, this just takes two MP01 screws. So here's the first one. I'll make that nice and tight, this one. And lastly, We've got the second one just going into the other side. Just like this. So there's that lovely looking trim on that panel. And now this time, if I bring it over and once again, if I put this on its side, just like that, this section here, as you can see, we've got three lugs on here. It's just gonna go this way round over the holes here. Now we have got a locating hole just at the end there to make sure this all lines up correctly. So I'm just gonna put them on like this. So you can see how that's gonna look. And that looks just like that. And then these two are held in with MP01 screws in these two holes. 
and in this hole here it's going to be one of the MPO5s. So once again I'll get the MPO1 screws open, we'll get two of those out and we'll screw this in and once again I'm only going to put them in really lightly to start off with just to hold the piece into place, there's one and then I'll secure that completely once I'm happy with the fit of that. There's number two and then we need the MPO5 screw here, just one of these get one of these out this is a very thin screw this is and this is going to be going in to this hole just at the top there so I'll get that one in as well and then what I'll do is I'll lie this down and I'll tighten these up completely so here's the first one nice and tight the one at the back And then finally the small MP05 that we just had on this section here. And once that's in, that is the left panel in looking just like that. And from the other side, it looks just like that. That's all there is to do in stage 43. Now stage 44 is the interior trunk panel, so we'll get this one out as well. And we've got some screws again for this one. Once again, these are MP01 screws, so we'll get some of these open. I think I've got hundreds of these MP01s lying around at the moment. But uh, I'll get these out, it just saves it later on when we actually attach this. We're going to be bringing the interior over again. Once again, we're going to turn it upside down, just like that. And then this is going to be going in with the three holes here facing down going over these three lugs here but what we need to do is we've got some lugs coming out the side here they're going to go through the holes just here on this side so we thread those through the holes just like that you hear the click as they lock in and then we just need to secure this into place with the mpo1 screws on this side so i'll put the middle one in first just like this and I'll make that nice and tight, that'll keep that all together. Then we'll do the far side over here. And lastly, we'll do the one just there. And once that's all in, that will look just like that. That's looking excellent. Look how it's building in front of our eyes. That's excellent. So once again, I'm gonna put that to one side because we've got the rear seat folding panel to put in now, which is stage 45. So we'll open this up. And in this, we've got this lovely felted uh, detail here looking just like this. And then we've got a metal hinge panel, which again, the detail on that is amazing. And we've got some MP07 screws. So let's get the hinge panel out first. This is metal, just so you know, and it is a working hinge. So <laughs> absolutely brilliant. I've just opened the MP07 screws. Now the MP07 screws are really tiny. So for that reason, I'm gonna be using my PH00 screwdriver, which has got a thinner nib at the end there. And then quite simply, we're gonna hold the hinge this way round, and it's gonna align with the panel here. Now we've got two lugs either side to help support the hinge, and it's gonna be held in with three of these really tiny screws. Now it does go on a certain way round, so if it's out the wrong way, you'll know because all the screws line up. So that's definitely the way it's gonna go. Let's see if we can get these really tiny screws in. To be honest with you, I think I'm gonna use my magnifying glasses for this. So when that's lined up, I'm gonna hold it like a pen, and I'll start screwing the middle one in first, just enough to keep that into place like that. We've got three more to put in. Boy, these are tiny. You're definitely gonna need some magnifying glasses for this. So here's the second one. Again, holding it like a pen, line up the hole, and just start that just with the rotation. Let the rotation take the bite. It's just come out a tiny bit. It hasn't gone in straight that one so I'm going to straighten that up now there we go that's the second one in 
and then we'll put the third one in the other side here again I'm gonna hold this on the end this time and screw that in and now I know that's in so I can screw this all the way down and make it tight so that's the first one here's the second one and last but not least here's the third one that's all there is to do in that stage and then the final stage stage 46 we're going to do the rear seat backrest panel so we get this one out here and that's looking like this again great detailing down it feels really good to the touch exactly the same sort of material that we had for the front seats there uh, and obviously we've got the backing for it here so we'll open these up we've also got some screws and they are mp07 screws again really tiny ones again so the first thing we need to do is we need to actually put the back panel just onto this chrome section here and as you can see we've got four lugs here that's going to line up with the four lugs that you see there so we push that into place and you'll hear it clipping as the lugs meet home lovely felt material on the back there as well i do like the feel of this uh, and then we're going to be attaching this to the panel that we just did so the hinges are going to line up now the hinges are going to be on this side here as you see we've got some small holes there and quite simply we're just going to be securing this in this way round so that those tiny screws are going to line up with this side here so it's looking just like that so we need to get these mp07 screws into there and that's the first screw in but i haven't tightened it again i just want to put it in enough just so i can line up all of these other screws here here's the second one it is probably better to actually uh, fold it over as far as you can it does give you a little bit more control of that hinge and there we go when all three screws are in it's going to look just like that it enables that chair there to be able to go up and down like that so to give you an idea of what this is going to look like when it's on it's going to go on this way and there's actually a hole in the side there I'm just going to keep that into place but obviously something's going to need to hold it on that side as well obviously you've got the hinge for the seat here uh, which is going to be able to uh, enable that to go up and down but that is that stage complete i'm telling you this is such an enjoyable build but that is what that's looking like really impressive isn't it you can see how big the vehicle is actually going to be now as well but uh, i thought i'd put it against me so you get an idea of scale but uh <laughs> i've got a big smile on my face again now gently put that down if you want to get this for yourself as I said you can get this from pack one and all you have to do is go over to agoramodels.com and uh, obviously this is available worldwide and you can build this alongside with me uh, once it's done it's going to be fitting on my shelf just there and as you can see there we have got the uh, chassis section uh, ready to go for this to go into but uh, i really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care